Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the bodywork on the 68 Ford Mustang. All right, I just got a couple uh, coats of epoxy primer on the body shell, a couple doors in the deck lid. I did the other side of the uh, doors uh, a little earlier. So those were dried, I was able to flip them over and uh, did the top sides. So once you get them in primer, you can really see a lot of the uh, damage really starts to jump out at you. There's a couple little dings, and then there's a dinger right on the body line. The rest of the door is okay. There's another little dinger there. But uh, all in all, not too bad. Really straightforward fixing. The uh, passenger door here, another dinger on the uh, right by the body line there. Top half of the door is okay. There's a little bit of a couple little dings there. And then we get into somebody else's handiwork. Old school body work. They just drilled a bunch of holes and just pulled on it. So I'm gonna have to go through and weld all of those up and straighten it out best we can before we finish her off. Trunk lid, not too bad. I thought I saw something right there by the hinge, but uh, there's a little dinger there. A couple of little dings across the edge there. Overall, the trunk lid is actually not too bad. So there's something right here too. I think I'll just dry. Just painted it. <laughs> it dried pretty quick. It's 70 degrees in the shop today. cowl turned out okay this thing's been uh, sectioned here in the rocker and that's all gonna be covered by the uh, sill plate so I'm not gonna mess with that um, but they did uh, a halfway decent job actually uh, sectioning it I already did some um, fiberglass reinforced filler and we got the quarter panel here we have the uh, factory leaded area here. I think this might have been a vinyl top car because there were holes spaced out here. They got filled prior. A little bit of body work on the back deck there, not too bad, just where the little holes were, I think, where there was a chrome trim or something going on. There was little holes going all the way across. Bottom here, uh, there's my exhaust fan there. <laughs> bottom of the rocker, or excuse me, the bottom of the quarter panel here. Not too bad, I already did a little bit of body work on it. And uh, we'll get that uh, finished off. There's a couple little dings here and there on the quarter, but not too bad. The other one there I just saw. And once you get a solid base on this thing, you can really see in the reflection, you can see the, uh, the dents. This one's not too bad. Might be something right there. But uh, once I put some, oh, there's a dinger right there too. I get the uh, surfacer on there, start blocking it out. This will all start uh, going away. This quarter panel, however, it's just as bad, if not worse, as in that door. Somebody else's body work in here, and well, somebody welded a little patch in there. And so this will be interesting to get this all knocked out straight. Now, right here on these 67 and 8 Mustangs, there's actually a body line. It's not a sharp line, it's just a real gradual, I don't know what you call it, but uh, it goes in a little bit. You can kind of almost see it right here. And I gotta kind of recreate that going all the way back best I can. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty rough on that quarter. And then again, we have where we had some holes drilled. Somebody had previously filled those. So I just gotta do a little bit of work to get those cleaned up. Dinger there. Well, not too bad. Definitely seen worse. But it's a 50 something year old car now. The roof actually looks really good. A couple dents back here. Work those out for the most part. Just need to block it out, make sure it's perfect. There's some of these little pieces that uh, still need to be primed and painted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
just use some paint stripper on these to get these off. It's all just pot metal. And then, uh, like I said, I have the hood and a few other pieces that are uh, reproduction parts that have the E coat on there. Once, uh, once I get ready to put those on there, then I'll get those in primer as well and then start bolting everything up. Uh, oh yeah, still gotta do two fenders. They still need to be stripped um, and then primed. So that'll be coming up soon. All right, now that these are all epoxy primed, I'm gonna go ahead and mount, get them mounted on the car once they're completely dried. Then I can uh, continue on the body work um, and then uh, that'll free up these two stands. We'll have to hang the door to put the fenders up there, strip and prime the fenders, get everything uh, on the car lined up, get all the body work done, then uh, tear it down all apart all over again so I can cut in the jams under the hood, inside the doors, under the trunk lid, and then uh, reassemble it one more time, lock it, and paint it. So sorry I haven't uh, been doing a whole lot of videos. Um, I don't know how entertaining it is just watching a guy stand on a car. It's just really time consuming. Um, I suppose I could do some stop motion, not stop motion, time lapse uh, video. But, uh, you know, I don't know how entertaining that is or educational it is watching somebody else work like that. So um, once I uh, get on to the next step, maybe I'll do some videos on uh, maybe applying filler, blocking, whatever. You let me know and down in the comments below what you guys want to see. And uh, we'll see if we can make that happen for you. If you have any other questions, give me a message down below in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. And we'll see you in the next one.